This is a Chemistry and Physics of Alternative Energy CTE pathway class. It's UC D Lab approved, so they get the D Lab credit for college. They start out with physics, and uh, the whole intent is for the students to understand the law of conservation of energy, that energy is never created or destroyed, it just constantly changes forms. I wanted to become an engineer at first, um, and so I was like, hey, maybe um, I should take these two science classes. Maybe it can help me improve on my understanding of science. For me, I like really hands-on things that, you know, you can build and say that I built that and it works and it does things that you want it to do. And so we start out with just the basics of understanding the different forms of energy, how we generate power with just copper wire magnets and motion. They start out with a basic windmill Rube Goldberg project where they're doing a uh, wind and using the uh, energy from the wind to lift a bucket and then they will transfer that energy and fun sort of play with a Rube Goldberg machine and watch it transform different uh, change in forms of energy. My favorite thing is that I learn something new every day in my class, um, whether that be through like learning like components or um, learning about all like chemical reactions and everything like that. I've learned a lot about organization. It's organization, um, communication, and I think time management as well. Because with some of these um, labs that we do, we have to um, really know how we're going to do everything in a certain amount of time and it has to be in a good way and we have to communicate with our other teammates. And then we move on to solar photovoltaics where they learn a lot about electricity, magnetism, we build little mini motor generators and then we also learn series versus parallel wiring. We learn what's best for the solar photovoltaics and what uh, wiring systems cause the best, highest output of power. Uh, I remember in physics we did like this solar panel to try, like charge our phones and then this year in chemistry we did a 3D model and did like uh, a battery. We did a battery and we put it inside a Yoshi to make Yoshi's uh, eyes light up. In this pathway we also work with outside um, business industry and uh, Napa Valley College as well. The other thing we do is engineering club where students will de design and compete in the yearly uh, tech museum tech challenge where every year they come up with a different uh, real world problem. This year it was hovercrafts and they asked the students uh, with a very limited battery supply to develop a hovercraft that could uh, navigate different terrains. I would definitely recommend it. It's, I think it'd be aiming, my recommendation would be aiming more towards people that want to follow a career path such as like engineering or um, just any kind of sciences that could possibly be their career choice. Through all of these projects, you know, my, my end goal is that they start realizing that energy and matter are related and that um, we can really just use all these different forms to create our power source for a clean energy solution to our planet.